1985, Jacques Delors was propelled to the helm of the European Commission with the support of French President François Mitterrand. This was a position a long time in the making. With his father at the Banque de France, Delors himself joined the bank in 1945. His main agenda, to build Europe's credibility. I will not be a showman. I will not make ill-considered promises. I will not fall into Euroscepticism. And on this journey, Delors adopted a motto of interdependence and solidarity. It is not by leaning on the shoulders of a drowning teammate that we will escape the wreck. We will save ourselves together or we will not save ourselves at all. Delors made it his mission to perfect the single market and push the member states towards the Maastricht Treaty in 1992. He also became an architect of the euro. By the time he left Brussels, he had presided over the commission for three terms, becoming the most successful holder of that post to date. But despite much support from across the spectrum, Delors decided not to run for the presidency in France. Instead, he supported Lionel Jospin. Although the polls were favorable towards me, I decided not to run. Delors started his political career as a representative in one of the country's main trade unions. It was in 1969 that he became a member of Prime Minister Jacques Chaban Delmas' cabinet. Later on, in 1974, he joined the Socialist Party, taking on a role in economic relations. Seven years on, he was appointed as President Mitterrand's Minister of Economics and Finance. This at a time the French economy had plunged into a deep recession, so Delors piloted a socialist recovery plan to give the country time to catch its breath. The measures included reducing the retirement age from 65 to 60 and a reduction of working hours. However, when this failed, Delors convinced Mitterrand to walk back and implement a U-turn. And so he slapped on price controls and a wage freeze. That's my philosophy. Sometimes we need a shock. These latest measures were slammed by his own party that said Delors did succeed in restoring relative economic stability. In 1995, after the victory of Jacques Chirac as president, Delors went into semi-retirement, never giving up the European dream. In 2005, he campaigned with his daughter for a treaty establishing the European constitution. When they call on me, I come. And that he did. In 2007, Delors threw his weight behind Ségolène Royal. He leaves this world not only known for the support he gave, but with his nickname intact, the father of modern-day EU.